in 2020, progressive congressional candidate from Texas, Jessica Cisneros, was this close to beating conservative corporate Democrat Henry Cuellar. She lost by just 3.6 points. So she had every reason in the world to challenge him again, and she did. But this time, the race is a little bit different, largely due to some news that we got today about Representative Cuellar. As Julia Conley of Common Dreams explains, hours after U.S. House Majority Leader Representative Steny Hoyer announced his endorsement of right-wing Representative Henry Cuellar ahead of the Democratic Party in Texas's 28th district, the FBI conducted what appeared to be a raid at the congressman's home and campaign office late Wednesday, resulting in what could be a boost to Cuellar's progressive opponent. Valerie Gonzalez of The Monitor, a local outlet in Texas's Rio Grande Valley reported late Wednesday that several FBI agents had arrived at Cuellar's home in Laredo. The agents took photos of vehicles at the house and loaded large bags, plastic bins, and a computer into a federal vehicle while others appeared to be logging the items. Later, Gonzalez reported that agents had also visited a building in downtown Laredo which houses Cuellar's campaign office. An FBI spokesperson acknowledged that agents were conducting court-authorized law enforcement activity but did not release more details while Cuellar's said he plans to fully cooperate with any investigation. Colin Strother, a political strategist with Cuellar's campaign, deactivated his Twitter account shortly after the raid was reported. Uh-oh. Seems like uh, Henry Cuellar is in trouble, and it's a little bit awkward for Steny Hoyer to see this happen just after he endorsed Cuellar. It's blowing up in his face immediately, and good. By the way, there is a primary opponent to Steny Hoyer as well, Michaela Wilkes. Make sure that you support her. She's another phenomenal progressive. But getting back to this story, what's interesting is that as soon as this happened, interest for Jessica Cisneros peaked. She wrote on Twitter, been getting a lot of new followers tonight. Welcome. My name is Jessica Cisneros, and I'm running for Congress because South Texas deserves a representative who will fight for our dreams as hard as we do. So I love that immediately, once people see that their representative is being raided by the FBI, potentially, we don't have much details, but this is very suspicious. You know, they immediately look for an alternative. That's really good. You love to see it. Now, for those of you who aren't aware of Jessica Cisneros, this is someone who is running a fantastic campaign, and she supports all the policies that we as leftists want to see. Medicare for all, canceling student debt, a Green New Deal, COVID relief, and importantly, she also supports women's reproductive rights. Now, you may be thinking, well, as a Democrat isn't that just a given? Well, not necessarily, because Henry Cuellar is quite literally one of the few anti-abortion Democrats, but yet Democratic Party leadership still endorsed him. Steny Hoyer endorsed the anti-abortion Democrat over Jessica Cisneros. And he's not the only one, because back in 2020, guess who Nancy Pelosi decided to endorse? As NPR's Ian Sane points out, Nancy Pelosi infamously went to Texas in 2020 to campaign and fundraise for Henry Cuellar, an anti-choice male Democrat against his tight primary challenge from a pro-choice Latina. Now that Roe is in jeopardy and the FBI raided Cuellar, will she do the same in 2022? Um, probably because it's Nancy Pelosi and she has no self-awareness whatsoever. But if she does, of course, it'll blow up in her face again in the same way this immediately blew up in Steny Hoyer's dumb fucking face. You just, you love to see it. I love that this happened right after he made his endorsement of Henry Cuellar. It just really shows you how out of touch and corrupt the Democratic Party leadership is. But Jessica Cisneros is actually somebody who would affect change if she got elected to Congress. She'd actually be pushing for legislation that her constituents want and not what her donors want. She doesn't have any corporate donors. And really now is the time that she has momentum to help her out. If you can, chip in a buck or two, because this is a really important race. And again, she was this close. And when you have these types of really close races, it is important to rerun because I think it was what, like 20 points or so that Cori Bush fell behind in 2018. But when she re-challenged uh, Lacey Clay in 2020, she beat him. So this time, you know, I have no doubt that Jessica Cisneros can win. She just needs to push. We can't become complacent. We can't kind of take this race for granted for granted, and expect her to win. We have to do what we can. So what I'll leave you with is an ad that is brilliant, not only because she lays out her own policy agenda, but on top of that, she explains how big of a failure Henry Cuellar is as a representative. They said we had no chance. They said the patrones were just too powerful. They said change was impossible here. But we showed them that the dreams of immigrants, truckers, rancheros, and teachers can be just as powerful as their corporate dollars. 
Now we're back to finish what we started, to do what my dad taught me. Work hard, keep at it, y enseñar que la esperanza nunca muere. Over the past year, our community has suffered through this pandemic, waking up day after day, praying we wouldn't lose another family member or our jobs. And when we thought Congress would be the answer to our prayers, they ignored us. So I did what I knew I could. I kept fighting for South Texas families as a human rights attorney, helping families who couldn't afford lawyers navigate our broken immigration system. So what's Henrik Weir done in the last year since he got reelected? He introduced anti-immigration bills with Republicans to further separate families. He was the only Democrat to vote in favor of corporate interests over protecting workers and strengthening unions. And he brought unusable, defective COVID-19 tests into Laredo. South Texas deserves a representative that's going to fight for our dreams as hard as we do. For Medicare for all, so families don't have to go to Mexico to afford basic health care. For immigrants' rights, because we don't want a wall or policies that tear our South Texas community apart. For reproductive health care, porque nuestras mamás, nuestras hijas, nuestras hermanas, our friends and family deserve freedom, dignity, and respect. I'm not taking a dime of corporate PAC money, because South Texas families deserve true representation. Mi nombre es Jessica Cisneros. I'm the proud daughter of immigrant farm workers, and I'm running for Congress. I'm ready to finish what we started. Are you? Join us.